What is going on, YouTube fam? Nameless here, bringing you guys a brand new video. And I want to say thank you guys for sticking around and showing me love over the last few weeks. It's been fantastic. We haven't had an upload every single day, but we've been consistently uploading throughout the weeks. And with the Call of Duty season and Cold War right around the corner, the content is going to ramp up even more. But there was a bomb dropped on the timeline yesterday, so I felt like we were in order for a new video. I actually made this video when they announced the news, but I decided to hold off a little bit until it was officially announced just to show respect to 100 Thieves and their entire camp because I didn't want to break some news if it wasn't legitimate. So let's talk a little bit about 100 Thieves and their announcement yesterday. So basically a couple weeks ago, we saw the news that Hector had purchased Optic Gaming back. He got the brand back and uh, their CDL spot was going to be up for grabs because Hex cannot own two CDL teams. So people were wondering what was going to happen with this team. Uh, there was a bunch of tweets uh, and a bunch of people saying that they thought that 100 Thieves was going to get it, but it was not confirmed, right? They didn't know what Hex was going to do with Optic Gaming name. They didn't know what he was going to be able to do. And they thought that maybe he was going to go and try to run Optic Gaming and then Huntsman would be a separate entity, but that is not how it went down. And 100 Thieves ended up purchasing the spot and now they have a roster where they only need one player. So yeah, they make a new Twitter for the LA Thieves. They announce new branding and they have a video sort of uh, to announce that they're coming back to Call of Duty. It was Nate shot and it's like pretty cool edited video uh, where he's looking at the logo and their new branding and he can't stop looking at it. And I just thought that it was incredible work and a great announcement video and also just some hype for what's to come for this team. We know how good they are at making content. We know how good they are at, you know, winning championships, at least in Call of Duty, they've done so well. So it's an exciting time if you are a Call of Duty fan. And in particular, if you were a 100 Thieves or Nade Shot fan and like Last year they didn't have a team and you didn't know where to go well now you have a home once again so let's take a little bit of a look at this video and check out what they got working yo matt you good yeah i'm good So that was a pretty dope video, man. I got to give it up to their content team. They're always making bangers. Their logo and branding is always on point and their apparel is always on point. And at least in Call of Duty, they've won championships. So, I mean, they check all the boxes to be a fan favorite team. And this is huge news and a big W for 100 Thieves and the Call of Duty League. I mean, if you think about last year, before the the year started and all these teams are buying spots 100 thieves sat out they didn't buy a spot they didn't join the cdl even after their crazy year that they had uh they just weren't ready as an organization 100 thieves is not as old as a lot of these teams and they were getting funding and, and trying to make smart business decisions and they didn't think that joining the cdl right away was a great decision because they didn't know how it would work out and they end up waiting an entire year and who knows if they were going to get back in at that point and then this perfect storm of a situation comes at them where they can buy a spot from Hector it's in LA and uh to be quite frank they got blessed in this scenario uh and they get a team and also they got a team with some really good players players that they had on their team when they were winning championships so I mean this is just a resounding W for them the amount of fans that they can bring in and exposure to the CDL and another big name brand joining the league who can also sort of use their name through that little you know hack that phase used by taking the clan off a of phase they took the hundred off hundred thieves so you can bring in those fans as well and still have an endemic uh, esports brand in Call of Duty, I think is huge, man. So they're sort of bridging that gap and they're just going to bring in so many new fans, right? So you look across the league and it was like the big name teams. You had Huntsman, you had FaZe, you had Empire. Well, now you have 100 Thieves. So I, I think that that is huge news, right? We do lose Optic Gaming, but we have 100 Thieves. Optic Gaming was sort of like a lifeless brand last year because uh, obviously none of the original players are there and Hex wasn't there. So now we can bring in 100 Thieves and a lot of people are going to be heavily so supporting this team so i'm excited for the future but let's talk a little bit about the roster that they have so they've inherited the optic gaming roster which was basically the 100 thieves roster that turned optic gaming and now is back home at 100t but you have slasher you have kenny you have draza as a sub and you have tj so 
this is big news for them as well because coming back in obviously they're going to want to have a really good team you don't want to have a struggling roster with some really cool you know brands and, and really cool logos and stuff you got slasher and you got kenny they were winning championships for you they're extremely excited uh to be back on this team and being back at home i think will help them play even a ton better just by simply being under a brand and under management that they really enjoy playing for and a brand that they want to do right right this is a team that has a legacy in its short span of winning championships and they definitely want to do that once again so i mean you have a fresh new year you have a fresh new game and you have a fresh new team that feels great to be a part of and you know nate shot and john robinson and all those guys are going to show them tremendous support and give them whatever they need and another thing about this that i really like is how involved the management owners of 100 thieves are how involved they're going to be in call of duty i mean if you think back to the year that they were in cod nate shot was at every event he was showing so much support he was actively tweeting about the team and showing interest and that goes a long way when a team owner is doing things like that he built a great rapport with the players and as an owner in the cdl coming from call of duty himself he's gonna have so much passion to win in this game he's gonna know how to build the right roster because he competed at a high level say what you want about nate shot's career he won championships and he competed at a very high level he understands the inner work of teams and chemistry and how those things work out so i'm excited to see what he can do as a team owner of a really big name franchise team in a franchise league what he can do for this roster i think that he's going to play a huge role in the years to come and obviously this isn't a one-year thing this is a long 10-year uh, term type deal franchises stay around for a long time given its success and with how year one went through a pandemic i expect call of duty to be one of the top esports for a very long time and obviously 100 thieves thought that as well so i'm just excited for the future man i can't say enough about it but as for their fourth player this is more so what this video is about is trying to guess who they're going to pick up and i have two ideas in my mind i think it's going to be either temp or john and here's why these guys, Slasher, Kenny, TJ, they want to play with a player that they're experienced with, that they know is going to be able to compete at a top level. And the only really great experienced top level players that I can see them teaming with that are available. I know that that was a lot in one sentence and that was a run on sentence, but I'm getting at, there's only a few players that these guys would be willing to play with that are available. And I think it's John or Temp, right? Because I think Temp, obviously he was very good in the last Treyarch game. He had a struggling year last year. But he's learned a lot and he's developed a lot as a player and it would be a shame for him to be on the sideline he has a great relationship with kenny tj and slasher and i think he would fit the build of this roster pretty well as long as uh tj uh as long as tj temp and kenny can keep it together and not let the friendships uh erupt into these fights because we know when you're too close with friends it can get into some big fights here on teams but i think that they'll be able to keep it together if they get him on the roster and they'll have a lot of talent to where slasher can work with it uh, and then also if they pick up john obviously he won a world championship with slasher they have a ton of experience together and john has been gone for a year and he's got to be hungrier than ever i mean a year without a salary you're not being able to do what you love guys think about that a year of not being able to do what you love most a part of your core identity was taken away from john and now he's going to be back so whatever team he lands on i expect him to absolutely fry also going into a tray art game that is his type of game so either way i don't think you can go wrong i think it'll be one of them but just a gut feeling, and I have no information. I've not talked to these guys about this at all. Just a gut feeling tells me that they're going to be going with Temp. And I think that that will round out the team. And then you also have Draza as a substitute player which obviously he's a fantastic addition to the roster if you need him. So he's sitting there on the sub team and he got some exposure in the pro league last year, which was great experience for him. So he'll be ready to come on up at any point. Um, but yeah, uh, that, that's about it. That's all I have for you guys in terms of my ideas and going forward for the roster. But I think those are their only two options that they really have. But either way, I'm extremely excited for this. I think the next year is going to be absolutely insane. Alongside them announcing some Warzone stuff too. Maybe we'll have to start doing some Warzone coverage on my channel given that I play so much of it. But either way, guys, I thank you guys for watching this video. Just wanted to get this news out to you guys. And if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment and tell me what you want to see next time on the channel. But until next time, guys, peace. peace.